all. Now with you is webbuildersguide.com. And today, we will show you how to build an e-commerce website with the help of the most advanced online platform for e-commerce, Shopify. Why did we choose Shopify? It's a website builder especially created for online shops. It's very easy to use, but at the same time, it allows you to create professional e-commerce sites with all needed functions. This website builder is paid, but it's worth it. You can use Shopify for free for 14 days and fully appreciate the potential of this platform. To get started, open your browser and go to www.shopify.com. Shopify hosts over 100,000 store owners who sell different merchandise online. Creating an online account with Shopify is fast and easy. To get started with creating your own e-commerce site with Shopify, enter your email address and click the Get Started button to begin. On the new page, enter a unique password for your account and store name on the fields presented. Click on Create Your Own Store now to proceed. Wait for the registration process to complete. Once the store has successfully been created, you will be presented with this window here. Choose where you will like to sell your products. By default, the online store button is checked. Check on retail store or pop-up shop if you would like to sell in-store using an iPad checkout system. Click next to proceed. We are almost done. On the new page, enter your address to set up currencies and tax rates. These are your full names, street address, city, country, zip code, and phone number. Once you are done filling in all the fields, click Next. On the new page, answer the questions presented to tell about yourself. Say if you already have products and what you intend to sell. Click on the drop-down menu to choose one option from the list. Check on the box below if you are setting up a store for a client. By clicking on the button, Show Me My Dashboard, you agree with Shopify Terms of Service. Click on the link to read Shopify Terms of Service. Click on Show Me My Dashboard once you are done. This is your Shopify store dashboard. You can view all your store menu links to your left. You are required to complete the last three steps in order to begin selling your products or services on your store. The first step is adding products to your store. Click on the Add Products button to begin adding products to your store. On the new window, enter your product details. These include your name, description, type, vendor, tax charges, and more. Click Save once you are done entering your product details. You will see a pop-up message saying your product was successfully added. Scroll down the page to add more details about your product. For example, if you want to add an image of the product that you are selling, scroll down to Images and click on Choose Images link below. Choose the image from your computer directory and click Add. You can also add an image from the web by clicking on the link here. On the pop-up window, paste your image URL and click Fetch. Your new image will be displayed to the right. Drag to reorder the images. You can also add collections, set search engines, and control visibility of your products using the respective buttons below. Save your changes once you are done. Click on View It in Your Store link on top to view your product in store. Let's go back to our Shopify store dashboard. As you can see here, we already have one product added to our store. The next step is to download Shopify POS for your iPad. This only applies to those individuals who intend to sell in-store using iPad checkout system. Click Download App to proceed. Follow the installation process to add the app on your iPad. The third and last step is customizing the look and feel of your store. Click on the Visit the Theme Store to select a template for use in your website. This will open in a new tab. You can choose between free and paid. You can view all by clicking on all on your top right. Scroll down to see all the templates on this website. In this video, we are going to select free. You can filter your search by industry and features. Click on one to select. On the new page, click on get the theme. Enter your shop URL on the pop-up window and click login. On the new page, click on Publish as my shop's theme to proceed. Wait for the installation to complete and then click on Go to your theme manager. Click on Theme Settings. Here you can start editing your chosen template. You change the then colors for the header and navigation. Click on one of the color buttons to open the palette and choose a color. 
Click on Typography to open the font menu and change your site font type. Click on Header to add a custom logo to your Shopify site. Click on Choose Logo to add a custom logo to your Shopify site. Click on any item from the menu settings here to open and change settings. To edit your site pages, click on the Pages button on your left. You will be taken to this page where you can view all your site pages. Click on one of the page links to load. This is the edit page where you edit and modify your page title, content, search engines, visibility, and template. Here you can edit content and add images and tables. To add image, click on Add Image button on top. Use the pop-up window to either upload an image, add existing product images, or add an image from the URL. Click Insert Image once you have made your selection. You can expand the size of your image by clicking on it, then using the sides to stretch and fill the page. The only thing that you can't do is dragging to reposition your item on the page. Click Save once you are done to save your new changes. Shopify also comes out of the box with the features that you need most to make your store uniquely your own. Click on Apps to view different Shopify apps. For example, if you select Facebook Store, which is a free app, it will open in a different tab. This is an app that allows you to show your products on Facebook. Click on Get the App to access the app. Enter your shop's URL and click Login. On the new page, click Install. Click Connect with Facebook and fill your login details to allow the app to access your account. Once it's ready, click on Add a Facebook Store. You can view and make changes on additional menus on your Shopify store by clicking on the menus to your left. Once your store is ready, click on View Your Store on your top left preview. This will open in a new tab where you can preview how your store will look like when live. You can see your shopping cart here on top. You can also search for items and information using the search bar on top. To publish your site, click on Select a Plan below the dashboard. On the new page, you are required to pick a plan to use when your free trial ends. There are different plans depending on where you intend to sell your products and services. For instance, when you select Sell Online, you will see the plans namely Basic, Professional, Unlimited, and Shopify Plus. These plans go for as low as $14 a month. You can start selling after choosing a plan. Here are the advantages of using Shopify to design your e-commerce site. A bunch of e-commerce add-ons in the App Store. Unlimited products for e-commerce site. Built-in blogging functionality. Professional-looking themes. SEO-friendly. It allows you to sell both physical and digital goods. 24-7 customer support over the phone, email, and live chat. Thanks for your attention. If you like this video tutorial, show us your support and add a like under the video. If you need more details about how to create a website on Shopify or on any other website builder platform, visit the link under the video. Thank you for watching.